fits like a glove. What's up my babies? Welcome back to my channel. I know it's a little weird that I'm standing, but you'll hear why in a minute. So for those of you who don't know, I uh, did cheer for a year when I was in high school, my sophomore year which was now about five years ago. So we, whenever we had competitions or performances, we had to put our hair in this crazy high ponytail. It wasn't really like crazy, crazy, I don't know, but like it was just like slicked back, really crazy, a lot of hairspray, a lot of gel, and it was the most uncomfortable thing. Brushing it out was like such a pain. So I thought I would do a little tutorial on that hair just because the process was really so insane at least for me maybe there could have been an easier way of doing it but it was a strange process so I thought I'd do a little tutorial as I just said um and I'm currently wearing the skirt we used to wear and of course since I haven't really grown it still fits so yeah, we, basically the rule was you had to put your hand on your forehead, your palm, and then where your middle finger touched is where the ponytail had to be. So I have some Suave Extreme Hold hairspray and then the holy grail of what we used, which was Garnier a New Look, New Look, it's just saying it has a new look, Garnier Curl Shape Defining Spray Gel. So... I guess let's get started. I personally always straighten my hair. I actually cut my hair before cheer season because it would give me such a headache if I kept it long. And I would usually have it straight just because it doesn't get in my face as much and it's a lot easier to deal with. All right, so first I would brush my hair as I just showed you. And then I would usually so I would have a hair tie ready, and these are actually the hair ties I use like on the daily. They're just these like big ones, cause I have a lot of hair and I have thick hair. And so I usually would just like double it up like that and then use that as a hair tie, cause otherwise it would just fall down. So first, you're gonna dunk. And then brush that so it's smooth. And then, you're gonna spray the gel. A lot of it too. And brush again. I don't know why I'm subjecting myself to this. And then I would give myself some hairspray. All right, and now is the hardest part, at least for me. And that is the actual tying of it. Actually, wait, no, first, spray the front. Can't forget the sides. My sides were always bumpy. This always, like, I had to get up so early to do this. So we had to be at school usually for competitions around, uh, like, 6.30. I would get up around 4.00 because we had a lot of competition makeup we had to do too. Fake lashes, the whole shebang. All right, and usually I would, the goal would be for me to get it like right on top. That way there was room for it to like fall a little bit. Okay. That's how you know it's too far forward. So move it back just a little bit. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, gonna. So it's about the point that it's supposed to be at. So now is the time where you have to clip down everything. See, even, like, it was hard to keep it in the back. I guess because our heads were always supposed to be, like, up. But, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, who knows. All our possibilities. And honestly, I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to use bobby pins. We were supposed to use clips, or maybe it was the other way around. Um, because it could, like, poke someone in, like, a stunt or something. Or maybe we weren't supposed to use anything. It was all just supposed to be gelled. Always had to be very, just, like, slicked back. All, I have a lot of, like, baby hairs and wispies, and those, like, were not allowed to be there. 
those had to like say bye bye. I'm just, I feel lucky because the year before, they had to sleep in a ponytail like this with curlers. So it would be curled in the morning. And then the last step would be to put the bow in, which I also would mess up because I would always like put it in upside down or backwards, but you had to like put it in. So like starting off facing forward. Oh wow, I'm starting off lovely. Sometimes you'd like have to pin it down, honestly, but. This was our competition bow. This was our game bow for like football games. And that was it, honestly, for the bows we were given. So here it is. I don't wanna reveal where I went to high school. Still fits like a glove. Woo, go team. Then we also had long sleeve for competitions and games. I'm exhausted from that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. And yes, the bow is about as big as my face. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more amazing, relevant tutorials. And I will see you guys next time.